Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. Welcome to a brand new In The Shop. We've got a really cool one for you today. And in today's shop, we're gonna be talking about a better way to rig your O-rings on your soft plastics. Specifically, you know, those O-rings we're using for wacky rigs, we're using those O-rings for Nico rigs, and I'm gonna show you a better way to do it where that O-ring is not gonna slip and slide up and down the bait. That O-ring is not gonna tear the plastic and rip. And your hook is gonna stay in place and you're not gonna throw off that bait with a traditional O-ring, okay? So we're talking about a better system for using O-rings on wacky rigs and Nico rigs. All right, first things first. You know, this is the old style uh, uh, O-ring. Uh, they call them Nico rings. VMC makes a good one. Um, and when you look at this O-ring, it's literally just like a, a soft, ring, like almost like a little soft gasket. And that's it. It's just a single piece of little rubber. Um, and there's definitely issues with those. But this system is going to use a different style ring. And this one is by VMC and it's called a crossover ring. Okay. A crossover ring. And this crossover ring has some really unique features that is gonna make it better to, to keep those plastics on, to keep it in place, to not rip the plastic. And last but not least, to hook and land more fish. This is a better ring to hook and land more fish, okay? So crossover ring, they actually come in a lot of different colors. I think it comes in black, I think we have a green pumpkin, but my favorite color of this crossover ring is clear, okay? So first thing's color of the ring. The great thing about the clear crossover ring is that it's clear. And I like that because it matches any color plastic that I'm using. If I'm using black, it shows through black. If I'm using green pumpkin, it shows through green pumpkin. White, whatever. So I like the clear rings, okay? Next thing on this VMC crossover ring is size. There's, I think, four different sizes, but listen to me. Here are the two sizes you're gonna need. You ready? You need the size six, six millimeter, six mm, and your six millimeter crossover ring is gonna be good for your bigger plastics, a five inch soft stick bait, a six inch soft stick bait, the Berkeley Power Bait General, right? Your stick baits, fatter, bigger baits, six millimeter. And then your five millimeter, five millimeter crossover ring. And this is gonna be better for your thinner plastics. Um, uh, Berkeley Maxent Hit Worm, uh, the Flute Worm. Uh, four inch bottom hoppers, thinner plastics, five mm, five millimeter. Okay, so you only need two sizes. And then here's the great thing, guys, about this is that this crossover ring is a different design than a standard O ring. Um, we're going to give you some B roll close up of this, but it's fatter, okay? It's got more uh, diameter to it. It's a thicker band. And when you think about that, right, the, the more that there's thickness there, the more it's gonna hold in place, right? So there's more uh, uh, plastic there on that ring. The next thing is that it's got a little sort of appendage, like a little teat. Can I say teat in nightlife shops? I think I can. It's got like a little teat that sticks out off of the main ring. And this is where we're gonna put our hook, right? Not through the ring to rip the plastic or the ring, but through this little, little nipple teat thing, okay? 
And I'm going to show you more about that, and that's really important. But last, last and not least on this crossover ring, why it's so great for this system, better than a regular O-ring, is regular O-ring, if you remember, we're using like an O-ring tool uh, to apply it. But on the crossover ring, look at this thing right here, guys. Look at this. This is just a little tool, and it's not, you look at it and you think it's a pair of pliers. It's not pliers. It's a little tool that we're going to use to, you ready? Expand that crossover ring, right? Watch, ready? Expand that crossover ring so that when we get our soft plastic, and I'm going to show you all this, that I can take something that's small, make it big, right? It's going to expand it. I could get it on that soft plastic. I just use my fingers. I'm going to show you all this in a second. Pull it off. And now I've got a band on there that's tight, okay? This is key, guys, because remember what I said about that regular O-ring. It slides up and down. You lose the bait. Your hookup percentage falters. But now, six millimeter on a five-inch soft stick bait, dude, it ain't gone nowhere. It's on there, okay? So very key, utilizing this little tool. And these are really inexpensive, right, this little tool. Another great thing about this tool, check this out. It's got two little compartments in the handle. And remember what I said, six millimeter clear crossover rings, five millimeter clear crossover rings. I can keep them both right at my fingertips. It's handy. It's right on the front deck. It's right in my kayak. It's always handy, okay? All right, so let's show you again. Uh, how to rig this. Uh, let's do it one more time for you. So we're going to do, let's see, let's do a uh, five, a six millimeter. Okay. So I get my ring. And with this tool, when you push in, it's going to expand these two arms. Okay. So the first thing I do is I'm going to get my crossover ring. This is a six millimeter. And I'm going to push it onto the nose of that crossover tool. When I push it on, I like to go a little further back because the further back you push it, the wider you're going to be able to expand that ring. So I take both fingernails and then I push it back maybe another half an inch, okay? And, and really give it some room to expand. So once that crossover ring's on there, watch, ready? When I put my fingers together or pull them together, it's going to expand that ring, okay? We're going to get our bait. Uh, there it goes, just a power bait general. And I'm going to position that wherever I need it, right? So on a wacky rig, that ring is gone dead in the middle of the bait. If it's a Nico rig, of course, I want that ring further down. I want it about three quarters of the way down toward the bottom, okay? So I can position this anywhere I want on this plastic. So wacky rigging in the middle, Nico rigging three quarters of the way down. But for this one, we're going to wacky rig it. And we're just going to literally, look, look how that soft plastic just fits in there. And I can get it in the position. And what I'll do is I'll stop it a little short of exactly where I want it. So if I want it halfway, I stop it a little short, maybe an eighth of an inch short. and then. I use my fingernails and I just finish pulling it off of that tool. When it pulls off the tool, I pull my fingers tight again and there it goes. It slips away. How cool is that? So now we've got our, our crossover ring that's in position, okay? All right, now here is the great thing about this little ring and you heard me mention it. It's got that little extra piece of plastic that sticks up on the ring, little teat, little nipple, whatever you want to call it. And on that little piece that sticks up, that little extra piece, you have a hole that is both perpendicular to that ring and parallel to that ring, okay? 
Perpendicular, we've got a hole in that little teat. And parallel, we have a little hole in that teat. And that's important because depending on how I'm rigging this, my hook position should be different, right? Listen, on the old wacky rig system, let me take this out and I'll show you. On the old wacky rig system, when it's a regular O-ring, you could only go under the O-ring, right? Look, I could only do this. Well, when I'm wacky rigging, dude, I don't want my hook parallel with the bait. When I'm Nico rigging, yes. When I'm wacky rigging, I want my hook perpendicular to the bait to get the best action and to get the best hookup, okay? So this crossover ring allows us to do that because on that little teat, there's a hole that's perpendicular and parallel, okay? So wacky rig, here we have a number two, a VMC uh, weedless Nico hook, probably my favorite wacky rig hook of all time. And when I rig it, I'm gonna look at that little teat, and when I'm wacky rigging it, I want it uh, perpendicular. I don't want it in line with the bait, I want it across the bait. So I just, I match it up with that little hole, and that hole actually goes through, and there we have it, guys, you ready? Look, so now, when I rig that, I'm perpendicular to the bait, and that's gonna give it all that extra action, and that hook is in the correct position to get maximum hookup when you're wacky rigging. Not in line, not for wacky rig, okay? The other great thing about that little teat is it gets the hook away from the bait. Listen, the hook's not even in the bait. The hook is in the O-ring. So that bait is not only gonna tear a whole lot less, but you ready? Look, you've heard of the ball and chain. Way more action because the hook's not taking away the action. The hook's up out of the way. The bait has way more action, okay? So another great benefit of that, okay? So wacky rigging, I'm going through the perpendicular hole of that little teat on the crossover ring. What about Nico rigging? This is just as good as Nico rigging. And when I'm Nico rigging, remember that that VMC crossover ring now is not gonna be half in the middle. It's not gonna be in the middle of the bait. It's gonna be three quarters of the way down toward the bottom. And this happens to be, this is a Berkeley Powerbait flute worm, but whatever your favorite Nico rig bait is, I got my little nail in the head. Nico rig is, is a great bait. But now I wanna go parallel with the bait, right? Because when I'm Nico rigging, totally different presentation. Now this is a aimless fall, Ding, 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 ding. Peck on the bottom. And as I pull it, I want that hook facing up, pecking and pulling that bait back. And I want that hook to be parallel with the bait, not perpendicular. So same thing. I'll take it back out and show you this real quick, guys. The other great thing is you can, you can just change too on the fly. So for this one, I'm using a little... This is a one ot VMC Redline drop shot hook. I love to use this when I'm finesse Nico rigging. And there's that little teat, guys, that sticks up. I don't want to go in perpendicular. Now I want to go in even with the bait, parallel. So I go on the other side of that, there's a little hole. Go in the hole, flip it around, and there I have it. I have that hook that is in line with the bait. So when it's pecking, ding, 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 when I'm pulling, that hook's in the up position, that fish eats it, reel set, got him, okay? Maximum hookup percentage, maximum action for the Nico rig puts the hook in line, parallel with the Nico rig, okay? So I, I hope you, you understand, you wrap your hands around this, what a, Great alternative, man, to the regular O-ring, right? This crossover ring allowing you to pick the hook position. This crossover ring 
allowing better action because look, my hook's not in the bait. So the bait's going to have more fluidity. Last but not least, man, you're going to keep these baits on the hook. You're not going to throw them off. They're not going to rip. The ring's not going to slide down because it's tight because of that tool, okay? So, man, try this one out. This is a great one. The VMC crossover ring, the VMC crossover tool, a way better system to use when wacky rigging and Nico rigging soft plastics. Man, I hope you enjoyed this shop. Listen to me right now. Stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button down there. Hit that button, subscribe, because we have a brand new video coming every single week. If you're already subscribed to my channel, please, please do me a favor. Tell your fishing friends about Mike Iaconelli Fishing on YouTube. We're here to help you become a better angler and, and try to learn some cool stuff. So uh, VMC crossover ring, give it a try. Bye. Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. I hope you enjoyed this week's In the Shop. I hope you learned a little bit. And if you like these videos, remember there's a whole boatload. Check out these two and you're gonna learn more about bass fishing.